Hello, I'm Jeff Feige and I'm a senior pre-sales engineer for iGel Technology. Uh, today I'm going to show you um, how to create some views in the UMS. Hopefully there'll be more than one of these videos. I think the views are very um, overlooked and very powerful feature that we provide with the management console. Um, and in this particular video I'm going to show you how you can determine if your iGel version for Linux is an entry, a standard, or an advanced license. So first things first, uh, we go into the Universal Management Suite console and you see here I have a uh, version 4 Linux device and for those of you who've been around the iGel product line for a while, um, we used to have entry, standard, and advanced license groups. They're designated by a 1, a 4, or a 7 so you could have a UD2 uh, 120 uh, LX or something of that nature. So um, mine shows up as a UDX-7XXLX and the reason for that is that this is a virtual machine so it doesn't know what kind of hardware it is uh, and it can't tell us the revision. Under normal circumstances it would be UD and then the hardware family so a 2, a 3, a 5, or a 9 and then after the 1, 4, or 7 so it would be dash 7 in this case and then um, a 20 or 21 or 30 or 31 those are um, the hardware revisions for that particular model so for instance a UD2420 is an older product than a UD2430 so anyway enough history lesson there um, so we go to views we say new view and we'll call this one entry licenses and we say next and the part that interests us is the product ID and put in a dash one and say next and say finish and now we have our entry licenses none of these will show up for me I do not have an entry license device in my UMS but we'll go ahead and copy this and paste it and we'll edit this view and we'll make this one a standard license and all we need to change is the one to a four say okay and I don't have any of those either we'll paste one more edit change this to a seven this would be advanced licenses we say okay and there my device shows up and then so what you want to do at this point is you want to click on the little uh, oblong thing here with the ellipses and you want to make sure you have um, the MAC address the product ID and the device serial number not the serial number up here that's user filled but the device serial number at a bare minimum you can put anything else in there you want to and then export so or right click on the view and save as and we'll call this thin client we'll save it as a CSV and save it as thin clients.txt and then all you need to do is open up Excel and uh, that's our most recent workbook there it has headers next semicolon next select all of these and make them text and say finish and we now have a file that we can give to uh, your VAR or your sales rep or, or um, for whatever purpose you're exporting this and uh, I hope this video is helpful and have a great day.